Hi, this is Ocean Green with Planetside Software, and today we're going to take a quick look at the new library feature in TerraGen 3. So here we are in the library interface. It's blank, there's no items in there yet, so we'll start by adding some things. You can add files individually, but we're going to scan the entire folder. You can add clip files, height fields, images, objects, and project files. We're going to add all of those and scan subfolders as well. And this is just a uh, set of XFROG uh, objects here. And they uh, include preview images, so those are going to automatically load in, which is nice and handy. While we're waiting for that, we'll look around the interface a little bit. It's organized over here on the left. You can see we're in all library items. There's also a favorites view, recently added items, and then uh, sorted by the type of uh, library item, clips, height fields, images, objects, and projects, and then also categories, which you can select for your uh, library items specifically. All right, our import is done. And uh, we're going to look at the view modes here real quick. There's a basic icon uh, view mode that just gives you the, the icons very simply with no extra information. Quick way to browse. You can also look at icons with names. And my favorite view, icon detailed, which uh, for images, it's going to give you the size of the image, import date. Uh, if you select an, uh, an item, you can rate it on a 1 to 5 star scale. And uh, it's going to give you some other information for other types of uh, library items. When you have an item selected over on the left here it gives you a larger version of the preview and there's some extra information as well. You can add a description, uh, you can uh, change some of the metadata here, you've got the rating as well uh, accessible here. You can also change the category. Some of these are going to be assigned to a category by default like objects here for this object. You can add tags which are also searchable and uh, you can add a comment. Alright so the main thing we're of course want to, going to want to do here is add this to our scene. Uh, that can be done in a couple of different ways. Uh, we can double click and that just adds it real quickly to our, our scene here immediately, right in the default uh, position. And zoom in here and you might catch a glimpse of another new TerraGen 3 feature. And uh, there's our object, just pop right in there. Okay, now let's say we wanted to uh, add a population. If you look down the lower right here, there are two buttons, Import Object and Import Population. And that's actually importing into the scene. So if I click on another object and Import Population, it's going to add it into my scene here. Click Populate, and there are my objects. There's my population. So that's pretty cool, very easy to use. Okay, back to the library. A couple of other things. We can sort in different ways here. So we can, uh, we're sorted by name right now. We can change to date modified, size, rating, etc. So when, you, when you've added ratings to your items, you can sort by rating and, and get just your favorite uh, items in the library if you like. Of course, you can change the sort direction here as well. Um, if you want to add something to your favorites, this button right here does that. And we can go to the favorites view and just look at our favorites here. And then uh, we've also got the search down here at the bottom. So let's say we wanted to just search for things that have the text tree in them. There's some options for the search. So right now I'm searching the name of the uh, of the item in the library, but you can also search the tags instead. Um, you can also change some of the other search options a little bit. And then when you're done with your search, you just click done, then it shows you uh, all of the items again. And uh, let's see, there's a couple of other little uh, uh, functions here. If we're on, uh, let's say, an object, we can uh, show the preview in a new window, a little bit larger, and then we can zoom in, see it, the full-size preview. This is based on the, uh, the image that was loaded as a preview for this object. When you're viewing images, like this uh, TIFF image here, it's actually going to be showing the original image file itself at full size. So this is uh, the original on-disk TIFF file that's being shown. 128 by 1024 pixels and uh, you can also change the preview so if I wanted to change the preview here or if it didn't have a preview to begin with just choose preview image file and just grab something random here and there it is it changed the uh, the preview for us so uh, you know the interface is kind of configurable there's some other options around here but that's a quick overview and uh, we'll be providing some documentation and information on this with the TerraGen 3 release coming up in July. So uh, look forward to more information coming out soon. Hope you enjoyed.